Those of you who watched my recent video for the annual Paint It Pink event heard me mention that I had originally intended to do a cool combi for the build. For last year's event, I did a pink Volkswagen rear-loading beach bomb Bright Vision reproduction. And I thought I'd return to my roots this year and do a cool combi, since I did a lot of those in the past. And I thought I'd make that cool combi look like the rear-loading beach bomb. That was the plan. But as I mentioned in that <laughs> Paint It Pink for Breast Cancer Awareness video, things kind of went astray. <laughs> well, you'll see in this video, I'm happy with the way it turns out. It just wasn't right for the Paint It Pink build. So go through the combi in the standard process. You know, it has two posts. They aren't that far apart. They're two fat posts, which are nice to drill. <laughs> um, drilled them and tapped them, you know, and it's the usual kind of thing. You see, I stripped it. I love doing the combis. The combis are just, well, they're so damn cute. You can do all kinds of things with them and, and you can use them to pay tribute to different things. It's fun. I, I did one in a Star Trek Galileo version and I did one in a Thunderbirds, Thunderbird 2 version. And so, you know, so this, I, I have a bunch of these combi castings sitting around. So strip this one down and here you see me wet sanding it now. For whatever reason, this particular casting, it might be one of the, the worst castings I've seen of the cool combi. There were just some inconsistencies in the metal and you don't see it too much on this side there were some inconsistencies on the other side that no matter how much I tried, I couldn't get them out. And I don't know if, if you can even see them in the pictures on the build. You have to look really closely at the finished combi to really see it. But, you know, I, I wet sand the heck out of this thing. And I'm trying to get the way I want it to look. Polished it the best I could. And I was happy with the polish. It's not great. And there's a little flaw there on the left-hand side. Hit it with the Tamiya translucent pink. That was what I wanted to do for the pink this year. And in order, and, and this is where, and as I'm doing the detail here, <laughs> I'll explain what went wrong. That's darker than I wanted. And this is one of those situations where I truly believe airbrushing is a huge advantage over rattle can painting. And I rattle can everything, as you know. But there's so many little nooks and crannies in the cool combi casting that to get into some of the areas with the rattle can paint, I ended up painting it darker than I wanted to. I thought about stripping it back down and hitting it again with rattle can, but Oh, there's my head in the video. Yeah, that big fat head gets in the way now and then. But uh, one of the things is I like the way this thing turns out. So I didn't want to strip it. So then I got into panic mode as to what I was going to do for the Paint It Pink event. And if you look back at the video, you'll see what I did. And I think it turned out well. And I was working with a Redline Club casting that you know, you peel the paint off of those and they're just ridiculously shiny. So um, I do a wheel swap on this because obviously I wanted to convert it to a red line. Again, I'm, I'm heading beach bomb direction with this. So kind of keep that in mind. You know, I pull those wheels off. I use the same axles, which <laughs> it's kind of a cheat when you're, when you're going to put red lines on something. If you keep the same axle, you know you have the length right. And I use the bearing style wheels on this. Uh, and I use the bearings that I designed. And the STL file, if you want it, is on Thingiverse. Uh, but I, I had printed some of those bearings up. I throw them on these axles, as you'll see here in a second. There's the bearings. And then, you know, I just use those fencing pliers that you see there at the right to 
crimp the end of that axle. And naturally the original axles are a little harder than the replacement axles I'll use on other builds where I can't use the actual axle. Um, so it takes a couple good squeezes to pinch those down enough. Actually, the first squeeze was pretty good on that one, but you try and play it safe, make sure those aren't going to come off. And you can't beat the bearing style red lines because, you know, then you just pop the bearings into those things and you're good to go. I like using a pair of needle nose pliers to help push the bearings into the wheel. And Lord knows I have all kinds of needle nose pliers around here because decades ago I was really into electronics and I had every kind of little pliers and crimpers and you name it around. So, But there you see I have the front red line wheels you know, situated. I make up the back, back set the same way. I use the larger rear wheels. Again, you know, following what was on the Combi originally, just now they're red lines. Kept the base chrome because again, the metal base on the beach bomb, it's unpainted metal. So I wanted that to stay the same. Had to get rid of the molded in surfboards. Didn't want those. Even though the beach bomb has surfboards, you'll see what we're gonna do. But you know, I cut those off. I thought about sanding that whole section down flat. And I didn't do that because then it thins out that center section of the back on the combi. And so there was no real practical benefit from that. So I clean it up a little bit and then I do hit it with tan spray paint. Oh, gauzy, gauzy, gauzy. I was a little late on that. <laughs> but I do hit that with tan to match the interior of the uh, beach bomb interior. I mean, you'll see that in a second. The glass on the combi was wonderful because it's a new casting. So I just hit it with gauzy, gauzy, gauzy and uh, you know, it, turns out beautifully. <laughs> it's always so nice to have good looking original glass. You know, I think from doing a bunch of uh, older castings recently, it's nice to have nice fresh glass for a change <laughs> instead of something that's beat to hell. So the guys, he puts a nice protective coat on that, shines it up even better. And yeah, basically that's it. There you see how I painted that interior tan as well. So drop the glass into here, drop the tan interior in. And again, one of the things I did differently than on the original Beach Bomb is I did detail like the headlights and the indicator lights and the VW. And, and it's not that way on the original Beach Bomb, but I just had to do it for some reason on this combi. It, it begs for it, and so I did it. Um, I did not detail the engine or anything like that. The engine on the beach bomb is obviously part of the metal base, which it's not on the combi. I could have painted it silver to match the beach bomb. I chose not to and chose to leave it the tan of the interior of the beach bomb and the interior of the combi here. The replacement surfboards, you know, those are just standard Hot Wheels surfboards from, you know, same as on the uh, rear loading beach bomb. And they do fit into the back of the combi well around that back post. And you'll see me slide them in there in a second. And because of that post, you see they're kind of at an angle, but they look fine when they go in there. And again, it gave me a better reason for not flattening off that section they sit on because it doesn't make a difference. So there you see the original combi. You gotta love the combi. It's cute. <laughs> and in a second, you'll see how it turned out. As you can see though, it, it was too dark to be the painted pink build. At least I felt it was. And if I had gone with the pinkalicious tinted paint like I had on the uh, Rockster build I did for the Paint It Pink event, it, I probably wouldn't have had to do the Rockster. <laughs> and this would have been appropriately pink. But I wanted to try the Tamiya translucent pink. 
And again, it's one of those things where being a translucent color and it needed more coats in certain areas to get into the areas I wanted it to be because of the nooks and crannies, particularly around the back end of the combi, it just made it a little tougher. So here's some glamour shots. And there are some shots next to last year's rear loading beach bomb build. There you see it. So, uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. There you see the difference in pink though. I hope you like this build. I had fun doing it. Please check out my other videos. Everybody stay safe and healthy out there. And I'll catch you in the next one.